Good morning, God's family. It is Thanksgiving week. We have so much to be thankful for. And this week we're talking about Genesis 50 verse 24, which says, You intended to harm me. This is Joseph speaking to his brothers who sold him into slavery. You intended to harm me, but God meant it for good to accomplish what is happening now, the saving of many lives. And we all know that story of Joseph, that he was not liked by his brothers, to the point where they threw him in a pit and then sold him into slavery. He went into Egypt, and he was thrown into prison over there. By God's grace, he came out. He uh, told the, the uh, dream of the Pharaoh that was able to prepare them for seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. And that famine hit the brothers as well. And when they came to Joseph asking for food, thinking that their brother was long dead or long gone, there they are asking for food from their brother that they don't recognize. And Joseph has it in his power to enact revenge, but he doesn't. He forgives them and he supplies them with food and he reminds them that God is in control. And my question that I asked the students today is, does God know judo? Because judo is this martial art that takes the force of an opponent and uses it against them. And God does this all the time. There's the force of evil that come at us as Christians. And yet God takes that and he works it for good. He did that in Joseph's case and he does it in Jesus' case as well. So you can watch daily prayer. There was actually a, a third Dan black belt that attacked me, and you can see what happened. I used a little judo on him. But God is using judo consistently in our lives, taking the evil and turning it into good. And that's the thought of the week.